footage to have some footage you gotta have the GoPro on. Three, five, nine, three, All I'm saying is if we get out here and this is not a good yard sale. The sign for a yard sale. Oh, I'll have to come back. Oh dang it. Hop into my spaceship, thrift stores are waiting. He wild enough to sell it, then tell Wyatt that I'll take it. Until love and you will see me. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Rewilded Reselling. This morning I am with my wife. What's so funny? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. What's so funny? I just took a bite of my cereal. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I don't think you're in the camera view though. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe, good. Maybe, maybe. Can y'all see? Me eating my cereal out of a cup? Yeah, Jenna eats her cereal out of a cup. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> She's with me this morning. We've been wanting to do this for a while. So thank you to my friend Matt for watching Everly. She's only a year and a half. So just getting up this early and coming to yard sales with her and getting in and out, in and out, over and over again is not easy. So the sun is in my eyeballs. But anyways, we're going to some yard sales this morning and hopefully we can find some awesome stuff to sell on eBay. So here we go. So we live on Highway 1, like basically just off of Highway 1. So when we come to Lexington or Columbia, South Carolina, we take Highway 1. Anyways, this garage sale is right here off the road. And I was going real fast, and then I was like, whoa, gotta stop. So it's cool. I don't know that I saw this one on Facebook. So hopefully it will be um, a good uh, use of our time. Here we go. We stopped at that um, yard sale. I got the GoPro out and it shut down on me and I couldn't figure out how to get it back on, which I've never had happen before. But we found, what are they? It's like a Disney Bantam book set. And Bantam? Bantam book yeah. is what it, it was just called Bantam book, I don't know. But they're from like 1986-ish. And there were, it was, one through 19 but it was only missing one book 15 and we were seeing comps for like 34 plus shipping 39 plus shipping so definitely Is that like, for a full set or for like just few? no for like 15 of them we had 18 we have 18 of them so um we got the whole set for two bucks yeah two bucks and then we found a moana figurine thing or what do you call that with hey hey and the pig hey hey and the pig yeah uh, for everly so moana's her Favorite. top three favorite movies so now we're going to a yard sale i think it's a church or in a church or at a church there's a sign for a yard sale oh i'll have to come back but it's right up here the, the journey left. continues pulling up at the church here we go right outside here we got this harley davidson seats oh super cool i've sold some of these before that's like the seat back i think Interesting. I wonder how much they want for them. <laughs> Alright, so we did get those nasty mirror boots. Only because the lady was like saying they were her husband, and I felt bad. So. <laughs> I mean, it's just four bucks for like super dirty boots. I don't know. Laces are kind of messed up. But we got the Harley stuff for 30, 30 bucks, but it was 20% off, so we spent 27, 27 in all. Um, you know, this stuff's just standard, but this one's cool because it's the 100 year, 2000 to 2003. It's the seat back, so that's cool. And then from that other yard sale, here was all those books. I mean, it was the first the full set, or most of the books, but they're like I'm in mint condition. One. Like, they're crispy, man. When you turn the pages, some things are crispy. So, anyways, on to the next one. All right, so we just did a yard sale pretty much out in the country, and um, I did get one pair of one pair of boots. Now, they were really nice, Justin's, and they were steel toe, but she wanted 25 bucks for them, and 
it's one of those things where I hate to spend that much on one item at a yard sale, but I know they'll sell and I know they'll sell quickly. So, I did it. I did it. 25 bucks. Kind of ridiculous, I know. But, you know, when you have bread and butter items and you know what they'll do, it is hard to pass stuff up because even though you're overspending, you know you're going to profit. You know it's probably going to be quick profit. And the thought of leaving those there yeah. would tear me apart, you know, letting somebody else grab them. So, so that's okay. One thing from there, we're headed into more into it's called Batesburg. It's where technically where I guess we live, even though we don't live there anymore. That's confusing. It's Batesburg Leesville. Batesburg Leesville. It's like Texas. a it's like a double town. It's mm -hmm. weird. I don't understand it. In the in Texas where I'm from, you don't have double towns. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just one town and then you drive for ten miles and then there's another town and you drive for ten miles and there's another town. There's nothing in Mitchell Haley. Here it's like there's these little double towns. So Batesburg Leesville is a it's one town, but it's two towns. Makes sense? We don't really we used to live there, we don't now, we just live right outside of there, but we're going back into there because there's two or three yard sales that we're excited about. And but we've got to get some cash first. One of them doesn't start till nine. Here's the great thing is we've gone to three yard sales and it's only 8.15. So most of them we got to early. And then one of the ones that we're going to go to here in a sec doesn't open until nine. So that's really good too. And I found the one that starts at 8 a.m. It's like 20 minutes. It's like a little drive, but we might have time. Nope. All right, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> stuff here because I don't know who else would make this trip out here. Uh, but, yeah, we're in the we're in the country folk, folks. We're with the country folk, folks. You can tell by the camera bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> the roads are awful. <laughs> yeah, Jenna doesn't like roads like this because it makes her go. <laughs> Not really. Almost. We'll keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. Cool. So this little container we we're in is not technically part of the yard sale yet, but she wants to do a yard sale all week and just bring mm -hmm. stuff out. But I had a couple kitchen aids, and Jenna has been really wanting one, so they're calling up the sister in law to see if she'll get rid of them and but. the sister-in-law has two so yeah. maybe she'll what get is rid that of them. what is this thing it's a crock pot a three like a mini three crock pot i got gotcha. you anyway and then there's cool. the mini right there there's tons of stuff in here i got this glove it's a wilson glove i looked it up it's probably worth about 30 bucks all right so i got three guitars and this glove for 10 bucks um they're wet because they're sitting in the grass and most of them don't have the back to the battery deal but i mean they're xbox so i don't know we'll see we'll see um i have a few guitars right now that i need to sell so if you have any advice on selling them getting them ready and listing them and all that stuff help a brother out we got a ton of little uh mickey mouse stuffed animals they were next to nothing i mean we paid so we paid 20 dollars for everything we got and uh those are each worth like i don't know 10 bucks you said each maybe yeah and if we lot them together yeah the um dymo thing that was in the it was sealed it was 10 dollars technically um 
but it should be like an easy $20 flip. But again, I paid 20 bucks for everything, so if you kind of average it out, it's kind of like I only spent like five dollars, a couple bucks for it. And then the box was a Sony mini cam, the little handheld mini camcorders. So I don't know if it works or not. If it does work, the comps on that were looking really good, like 80 to 100 bucks. So pretty cool find. I don't know if it works. You know, usually when you find stuff like that, people haven't used them for years. So who knows? It might have worked, and it might not now, but still a good find paid 20 bucks for everything all right so we didn't find anything in goodwill today but that's going to wrap up our trip for this morning we are going to get home and then i will show you guys everything i got give you kind of a breakdown of what i think i can make on all of these things that i found if they sell so more like a potential profit type of breakdown and uh geez i'll tell you what i spent what i think i can sell them for and that'll be it So I got everything laid out here. I'm gonna go through each item and tell you what I paid for them And then I will tell you what I think they can sell for these are just rough numbers very estimated Some of them may sell for much more some of them, you know, I might have Overpriced them, but either way, I think it's gonna be pretty close. So here we go So checking out these uh, these first few items so all of the Mickey Mouse and the one Scooby-Doo guy and then this Dymo personal label maker. And then the, what's in here is a Sony, open it up. A Sony little camcorder, a handy cam. Again, I don't know if this works yet. I need to check it out, but um, it has everything in there. There's the batteries, a little remote, all that kind of stuff. So I paid for all of these things. I paid $20 and my projected sales on all of these would be somewhere between 100 and 120. And of course, most of that is dependent on whether or not that camcorder works. But I think that's pretty good on those. So I'm going to interject real quick. I went into uh, the box here for the recorder and I started kind of looking at it. Realized it didn't have the charger or anything like that. So there's really no way for me to test if it works. But it has everything else and it's in really good like, you know, like physical condition, condition. So I started kind of looking up comps on eBay and even for parts. So even if it was broken, uh, the comps are actually closer to what I was thinking it would sell for. You know just just use so I mean as you can see there are 45 plus shipping 30 plus shipping 49.99 free shipping so this is for you know that's 60 plus shipping so I'm gonna sell it just like that I could probably buy the charger and all that stuff and try to figure it out but the reason is because if you go back in here to condition and go to just just use just regular use but it works the comps are like 90 130 120 so this is a really good camcorder. I didn't realize the value of it. So I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna sell it as a four parts listing and you know, make 40 or 50 bucks out of it. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. So just wanted to mention that real quick. Okay, so next at one of the yard sales, I found the three Guitar Hero controllers and then this glove. The glove is a really good find. It's just in good shape. Um, it's like kind of an older glove, but leather, Wilson. I looked it up by that little model right there, A2914, and it should sell easily for about 30 bucks. So that's good on those. Now, the Guitar Hero controllers are kind of a wild card. Again, I have to test them to see if they work. If they work, I know this black one on the left and the red one are worth some pretty good money, like anywhere from like 50 to 80 each. Uh, the middle one's probably worth a little less. So in all, I paid $10 for all four of those items from one yard sale, and I project that I could have somewhere between $100 to $120 in sales, maybe a little more. If those guitars work great, then I could possibly make some more money on those, but I figured that's a pretty, pretty conservative. All right, the Justin boots, I got these from a yard sale. I did uh, pay up for those. Like I said, I paid $25 for them, but they are in literally perfect condition, like have never, they may be been tried on and worn, you know, there's a little bit of dirt there, but 
I mean, they're just really nice. So easily should make about, um, well, I should be able to sell those for about $75 and um, I pay $25, so not bad there. All right, next were the Disney books. This was just really cool because they're from, uh, I think they're 1986, but they're just like in mint condition. Like when you open them up, there's literally no, there's no water damage. There's no like major, and none of them have binding problems. I mean, there's very, you know, small little flaws here and there, but pretty cool. So it's actually, it's like one through 19, but I think number 18 is missing. Well, no, that's number 18. Anyways, there's one of them that's missing. So, but there's a uh, really good comps. Let's see. So I paid $2 for all of them. And I'm just going to say I can sell them for around 35 bucks. I'm probably going to price them higher, but I'm going to say 35 bucks is a pretty good, pretty good number on those. Then we move on to that churchyard sale. And uh, these four items is what I got. So I got the Merrill boots. I got the seat. I think it's called like a soft tail seat for a Harley Davidson. Um, that's some kind of seat. And then that's like the backrest. And on the Merrill boots, they're super muddy, pretty dirty. The laces aren't perfect. So um, I, I'm going to say I can sell them for like 30, 35 bucks. I don't know. So for all of that stuff, I paid $27. Now with the Harley stuff, it's really a wild card. I know that these probably all go together and if you know more about harleys than me please help me out i'm pretty sure these would all go together because the lady said yeah me and my husband used to ride so i'm guessing this all you know came off of one bike so what's cool is this is the 100 year anniversary the deal it says 1903 to 2003 which i think i sold like a sweatshirt one time that was was that and i know that sells pretty well but regardless i mean you know they're nice Harley seats with no like rips or anything. I don't really know. I'm gonna guess I could probably sell the whole set if it all goes together for like 150 bucks. I don't really know. I know that the the backrest is probably worth you know 50. So I'm not real sure about the other two. Um, I don't know. So if you know more about it than me or you know how I can find the answer, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to say I paid 27 bucks for these four items. I'm gonna say I can have a total sales amount of 150 just to be conservative. It could be much more than that, but I'm not sure. So guys, when I look at everything I got, I paid a total of about $84 for everything. And I'm looking at somewhere between $260 to $300 in profit. All right, surprise guest appearance from Everly. Oh, since she was being taken care of by our friend yesterday. Today, she's obviously back with us. So she likes all the little, that one's probably yeah. gonna break if you do it, cause that one's hard. So maybe let's do those ones. And then Jenna. Now look guys, <laughs> one more interjection here. So I already got some offer, offer, I got an offer on the camcorder for $60. Had it listed for like 69, got an offer for like 50 something, I counter offered. So I'm gonna sell it at 60 bucks. Yeah. Bam! So that's awesome. It basically pays for that pays for like two thirds of our haul yesterday. So camcorder sold. I already have some watchers on the baseball glove. I listed that. Um, that's it for now. So. So that's super exciting. I'm, I'm really loving going to yard sales. If you're a reseller and you haven't done a ton of yard sale garage selling, I really encourage you to get out there and do it just because you can find the craziest deals. You can find stuff that is extremely cheap that people are just wanting to give away. And it's just, I don't know, it's fun also because you can kind of go back and forth with them. You know, if I walk into a Goodwill, I can't ask them, hey, you know, will you do this price because I'm getting, you know, five items. They don't, they don't do that. They price everything and it's firm. But at a yard sale, you can usually kind of go back and forth with them and you know, it just kind of makes it fun, especially if you go with somebody. I know I love the fact that my wife came with me. I've had friends go with me before. It's a blast. So that is going to wrap up the video today. So please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and then the little bell at the bottom, you can hit that. That'll notify you when I have new videos. At this point in my YouTube journey, which I'm still so, I'm like a baby. <laughs> I'm like a, a newborn, you know, in the, uh, in the YouTube world, but at this point, I'm 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 releasing a video like every week to 10 days, and I'm pretty happy with that. I don't I don't have right now I don't have the means to 
put more content out. You know, I have a daughter who's uh, a year and a half years old, and you know, my wife has a job. I mean, we, you know, we have a life. So at this point, I'm really happy with where my YouTube journey's at. Um, in the future, there will be more videos, and I'll expand into other things. But for now, this is where it's at. So I don't know, 300 bucks in sales. So. You can pretty much cut that in half for profit, probably about 150 bucks in profit. So pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. And that wraps up the video. We'll see you next time. Hop into my spaceship, thrift stores are waiting. He wild enough to sell it, then tell Wyatt that I'll take it. Until yeah. love and you.